So, let's see. There we are. Yeah, so um, carburetor's in, and as you can see, I have a Summit ready to run distributor in place. Now this runs the, uh, the steel gear on it for uh, non-roller cam engine, so... So here's the uh, remnants of the DuraSpark. Distributor, ignition box, cap, wiring harness. Um, it, I had it running. Uh, I'm not going to first start it. Uh, it took a second to get gas up in the bowl. So, But it's been running. I... Uh, <laughs> I had to move the distributor when I timed it. I haven't timed it yet. When I timed it before, when I had the uh, Holly on it, I had to have the the uh, vacuum uh, for the distributor almost against the water jacket just to get it to run decent. So what I did was I picked it up, I marked it, picked it up, took it back one tooth, and dropped it back in. And... I just set the timing. I set the timing by by feel. I didn't put the timing light on it. I haven't put a vacuum gauge on it. But uh, let's see here. Yeah, it's still off timing a little bit. You can hear it, but it's close. Kind of looking like valve seals. Uh, I don't know. I, I, well, I say that, but when I pull spark plugs, and uh, I don't think I have them here, they weren't burning bad. There was one cylinder right here. It was a little wet. So the valve seal maybe cracked on that. Um, and there's actually a lot of still gas in the oil. So I'm going to change the oil on it tomorrow. I'm going to put the timing light on it and the vacuum gauge and do the adjustment on the carburetor. Actually, the carburetor has had no adjustment other than I just turned the idle up a little bit so I had a better idle. And that's pretty much it. Uh, so, we had a brain fart before. Two things. I couldn't remember the uh, DuraSpark, what the name of it was. I uh, had a comment from a fellow, and uh, I had already remembered uh, what DuraSpark is uh, after the uh, video was done, but I drew, drew a blank when I was doing the video. And right here, I would put some uh, pair of pliers and a screwdriver or a screw or a spring. Unbelievable. Uh, not used to having shiny stuff, I guess. Old, shinier stuff. And... Uh, um, yeah, there we are. So, I did track down the fan switch. The relay is good. Uh, apparently, they have it wired directly. So, when you turn the key on, the fan comes on. Well, we're going to change that. The setting unit's right here. There's, that's for the gauge. Well, I bought the brass T that goes in there so I can run the, uh, ga or the gauge on the one. And on the other side of it, I can put the, uh, the controller in for the radiator. So... It'll come on at uh, it'll come on at 195 and shut off at 185. So um, 
we'll give that a whirl. That kit is right here. I opened it up and took a look at it, threw it in a little box. Pretty straightforward. So, the next thing, once we get that straightened around, master cylinder. Boy, that sucker's heavy. So that'll take the place of the single Ford style, old style uh, braking system. So we're going to put power brakes on it. It already has disc on the front because it has a Mustang 2 front end. This is a metering valve brake light. So you've never seen my rat rod. Has a very similar system on the rat rod. So, yeah, that's going on. And I gotta give you credit, give these guys credit. I, uh, let me shut this off. This little light's cheap, sticks anywhere. Yeah, sticks anywhere. I have two of them. I finally killed the first one. The second one is still going. If you want some good light, you shut them boy, bad boys on it, and then you got some light where you want to work. So I'm going to take them in and charge them up again. Uh, they, they can charge in a car or they can charge in the, on the wall. Uh, so, yeah. Charge in the wall, charge in the car, charge wherever you got a plug for a, uh, same as a cell phone. Or I can take them in and put them on a big charger uh, that handles, you know, like you handle three, four charging things at a time, phones, iPad. So there we are. She starts and runs. Um, not dumping raw gas out the pipes on the rear. And we'll get that oil changed, oil filter, gas filter changed. And we'll take her for a ride. That's tomorrow. Um... Uh, and I have a, I didn't show that. I've been swapping that hood over on the other instead of putting it on a stand. But I do use a soft coat in between them. So I'm not resting one on top of the other. Thanks for subscribing. Love the comments and the questions. Um, hit that like button. And uh, we'll be on to the next project before you know it on this. And some work on the rat rod. And some work on the 66. See, I got 66 sitting inside the other garage out there. Uh, I've got hood hinges to go on that. And they probably are uh, going to do a upgrade on the uh, intake and carburetor on that also. Let's see how things go. Okay. Stay safe.